So the next question is how do we find communities? And for simplicity, we'll work with undirected and unweighted networks for now. And one idea of doing this is to base on the notion of edge between us. And here edge between us means the number of shortest paths passing over the edges. Right? For example, we can see that it, um, the edge between us of this edge is actually very high. This is because uh, a lot of shortest paths between the nodes in this graph will actually have to go through this edge. And intuitively, let's say that we have these large networks and we calculate the between this of every, every edge in this network. And we can see that this edge here in the middle is actually have, it actually has a very high between this, indicating that it's actually a weak tie uh, in this network. And it, makes, and it actually makes sense for us to remove this edge and split this whole, this large network into two communities. And as a simple example, let's say that we have this uh, smaller graph here and we compute the betweenness of um, each edge in this network. And we can see that the edge in the middle actually has the highest betweenness. And you can see that it actually makes a lot of sense uh, to uh, remove this edge in the middle and therefore split this whole graph into two communities, uh, one on the left and the other one on the right. And this is actually um, the general idea of the famous Gervin Newman algorithm. And this algorithm basically it's a, um, a divisive hierarchical clustering algorithm based on the notion of edge between these. And remember this edge between these um, means the number of shortest paths passing through the edge. And basically the gervin newman algorithm works as follows. They will repeat uh, the following two steps until no edges are left. The first step is to calculate the betweenness of each edge in the graph. And the second step is to remove the edges with the highest betweenness. Note that it might be only one edge or it might be multiple edges with uh, the same uh, between this. And note that this algorithm actually has um, uh, treat the connected components as the communities and it, it will gives us a hierarchical decomposition of the networks. For example, in this previous uh, small graph here, if we run the Gervin Newman algorithm, in the first iteration, we'll of course, we'll just compute the betweenness of each edge in the graph, and this is the result. And therefore, uh, since the, this edge here has the highest betweenness, we'll remove this edge and, and, and cut this graph into two communities here. And then in the second iteration, we will compute, basically we need to recompute the uh, edge betweenness in both subgraphs and then we remove um, the edges with the high, highest between us. And this is the result of the second iteration. And until now we can see that um, basically a lot of edges are, are already removed by us. And we can see that uh, the between us of all, the, all these edges are actually the same. Therefore in the third iteration, we're gonna remove all the edges. And this will give us a hierarchical network decomposition as we can see here. And more, con more concretely, and uh, if we have this larger graph and we run the gervin newman algorithm, it will, it will give us um, a hierarchical decomposition as, as shown on the right here. 